Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So, today's chosen game is Melbourne Western Bulldogs. I said in the community post and in other videos that I would react to this regardless of the score, the results or requests. So, uh, yeah, I picked this game. I think I got two requests though. I think someone requested Adelaide Hawthorne and someone requested West Coast Saints. But I was doing this game regardless, just so you know. It's annoying, such a big game and no crowd. Life sucks. But I've been looking forward to this more than most games this season. Go on then. Nice. We need more long sleeve Guernseys. Say it with me. <laughs> I'd buy them. Well, Hawthorne once. Beautiful. Into the second quarter. I tipped, I tipped Melbourne for this. And it's mainly because they do really well in big games. It's, it's just the, the lower teams they lose to, usually. The dogs are very good, though. So, that's another thing. There we go. As you do. Dogs getting the better of the first half so far. Plenty of time to go. Still got it. He is. And it's a goal. And this is another one. So he's nailed that, no problems at all. He thanks his teammate. Back in, back in the game. Pretty hard to do anything else. Time since last Bulldogs got. I've not seen that before. <laughs> back inside for Norton. I mean, I have, but yeah, don't say that very often. Probably because I watch highlights videos. That's big. He's got a goal in him. And then he takes on the former teammates who come bashing into him. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. It's still going. Harms is in the rivers. Fair play to him for getting back up and getting straight back into the fight. But geez, that was like 10 on 1 for a second. Big goal. Dogs are bossing it right now. What's going on? The team that was first most of the season only got 19 points so far. Seriously amazing to What's happened to him? Having another off day. Luckily for them, it's a fairly low scoring game, so a few goals and you're back in. You win things like that suddenly with a couple goals, you're back in the game. There we go. Clearly, I've jinxed it. <laughs> there we go. A few errors here and there. Scrappy, but they'll take it. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're staying on top. The D's get close and dogs just reply with more goals. That was a good play. Good kick. Is he alright? Like it took it straight to the head. It could have been worse. It could have been worse, but I think he'll be alright. <laughs> Mark of the game. See, imagine that with a crowd. Uh, would have been uh, quite the reaction. Come on, this and his 14 points. 
bang. Good finish. He's exciting to watch. Still going. Yeah, the, the dogs just aren't letting Melbourne get close. They're managing this game really well. Yeah, but they got a goal out of it. So I'm sure they won't mind. Still in there. Can't quite get close enough though, but they're still in there, just about. Bang, 10 points. 10 points, 12 minutes. Oh, they're going to get a lot closer this time. There's a big kick here. To get it back under a goal. Brown is on yeah. <laughs> Looking great. Looking great. Ball on the ground. Here we go. Enter Missing Tigger the Tiger. Missing with the attempted kick. Liberatore. Bontempelli won't miss. Nice. <laughs> back to 10 points. So in the middle. Is a tiger from Frosty's even called Tigger? <laughs> I'm so random. Oh, nice. Well, this would be big. Dogs once again, that even though Melbourne got even closer, the dogs are like, nah, mate, we're keeping this lead. You're not taking it away from us. Go away. <laughs> you can get as close as you want, we're still winning. That's what the dogs are doing right now. Always got a reply for whatever Melbourne do. That's a good mark. There's a massive win for the dogs, you know. Massive win. His kick doesn't work. Siren gonna sound. Cosy Pickett will have a shot, but that is a well earned victory. Impressive. They've been impressive the whole season, to be fair, but yeah. Impressive. That's a no score, so I feel like Melbourne haven't been uh as good as they'd like to be today, but uh, yeah, that was pretty good. I kind of wish they showed a bit more, a bit more of the highlights there, but uh, yeah, that was a fun video to watch. I said I was looking forward to it, and I said I would react to it regardless, and uh, I wasn't disappointed. I kind of wanted to be closer, but I did enjoy a lot of the plays there, so uh, yeah, massive win for the dogs. And uh, yeah, of course, this is meant to be round 20, but it's uh, round 19 now. But yeah, huge win, and uh, in a way, it could be a finals preview. You never know. This could be the week one game, the prelim final, the grand final. And I wouldn't mind this as a grand final. I think it'd be quite a good game. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But they'll both be in finals. So, uh, you know, we'll see how both of them do for sure. Obviously, you can do great in the regular season and not do so great in the finals. So uh, they've got to prove themselves when they get there. Um, it's been a long time for the D's since the last flag, so I really like the idea of droughts being broken. I think that's awesome. Um, so if Melbourne did win the flag, that would actually be quite an amazing sight to see considering how long it's been since they've won it. Uh, the Dogs as well, a few years ago, they broke their long run without a flag. Richmond did it as well, so uh, I guess it is kind of a season for breaking droughts uh, in recent years. So maybe the D's can do it as well. But they got to play better than did against the Bulldogs today. But yeah, um, the finals should be interesting though. It's looking like there's quite a few big teams that look like they could miss out. Already Collingwood are missing out. Um, it looks like Richmond might miss out, especially if they lose to Geelong. So the finals lineup this year could be very interesting. Like even if Richmond make it, they could be like eighth. And we, 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 we could have West Coast and Richmond in like the two last two favorable spots. So uh yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the exact finals lineup will be because I feel like it'll be very uh, unusual and very uh, unpredictable. But yeah, we'll see. It's a good season so far and it's coming towards the end. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And yes, I know we lost. So you don't need to tell me. Hawthorne fan, by the way. Goodbye.